Good afternoon. We are on the uh, brand new Leopard 43 catamaran. This is the uh, uh, launch of this new model. This is the uh, third generation of uh, Leopard catamarans in that size range. We actually sit right now on the uh, Moines version. This is a boat that will go into the Moines fleet as a four cabin boat. Uh, we also offer it as a three cabin uh, under the Leopard uh, name, Leopard 43. Uh, basically, the, uh, this is the evolution from the previous model, a 39-footer. Uh, we're having a much bigger boat and we're maintaining efficiency on the hulls. Uh, we are going to be launching the production. Uh, we have launched the production. In fact, uh, we uh, launched the hull number 11 at this point and we'll be building about 30 boats a year. Okay, we're on the, uh, on the stern of the 43. Uh, this is obviously a, a large uh, blue water going type catamarans. Uh, so we're looking at very wide transom here, a lot of volume. Uh, all the, uh, the tooling, all the construction of this boat is uh, uh, with separate tooling, nothing to do with the sailboats. We have a separate uh, production line for these boats. They are true uh, blue water uh, power catamarans. Uh, they're very efficient in a way that we keep the beam of the boats to a minimum. We have a, a, a stepped hull, so the, the hulls are very thin, very efficient, and the volume, uh, the interior volume of the boat comes above the waterline. So we have uh, two uh, 260 horsepower Yanmars, which will give us a maximum speed of about 22 to 23 knots. The cruising speeds will vary between 10 and 15 uh, knots about. So if we start with the stern, we have, uh, you know, uh, one of a common uh, uh, feature on all the uh, leopard cats is a very good access to the water, very wide transom, very easy to access, a big swim ladder on, on the other side. As we uh, step in, a, in a, uh, the back of the cockpit, we have a very large area here. We can cross, two people can cross here. And uh, this is an area that will be basically uh, very enjoyable while people will be, uh, you know, going in the water, swimming, coming back on board. Usually there's paddle boards, maybe can canoes in the back, uh, the, uh, the dinghy. So this area is really dedicated to it with the, uh, the shower uh, here, the, the, the shower after, after you go swimming. And uh, uh, there's a, an option here to basically looking at it that way. So everybody can be together here, uh, enjoying the back of the boat at the anchor. Uh, and on the other position, we'll be looking at this very large aft cockpit. Uh, all, the, all the leopards uh, are basically uh, with very simple principle. One of them is to be able to sit uh, here, eight, up to eight people, in a, in a U-shaped uh, type of settee and a large table. So we'll be able to uh, have a lunch, dinner here. Uh, this is obviously an area where uh, uh, we spend a lot of time. Uh, we favor in general the common areas. We try to keep the boat very convivial, very social. Uh, so as we move uh, forward in the boat, uh, we're going to have actually uh, a true uh, main salon here with a, with a table, an L-shaped main salon. Uh, the feature of this boat is that we have a very good communication between the indoor of the boat and the outdoor. Uh, in fact, I can open the window all the way out here, so that will be giving us the uh, the idea of the of the of the the depth of the boat and the fact that this can be a, a very nice common area uh, where the indoor and the outdoor, like I said, will will kind of mix. However, in the event of bad weather, rain, uh, it could be too hot, it could be too cold. We still have a true boat that can close, so those windows will close all the way out as well as the door here, I'll show you. So that's gonna close. So in this situation, we're looking at a, uh, a boat that can be uh, used in good weather with everybody together, as well as uh, a boat that can uh, accommodate uh, the entire group uh, inside as well. Uh, a big change on our catamarans, we have here kind of flipped the entire main salon uh, the other way, where the, uh, the settee will be facing the forward of the boat. So we'll be looking at very large windows, a very good visibility from the settee looking forward. So by flipping the galley and the settee the other way, where most boats, the actual 
SETI will be facing aft. Here we're facing forward. Now the galley is forward. So uh, you'll see a very nice galley here, lots of storage, nice coin countertops, uh, facing the, the, uh, the forward of the boat with a full visibility of, uh, of the ocean. Everywhere in this boat, you're going to have very good visibility all around. We're going to have storage in the floorboards. We have an extra ottoman here uh, that will be very useful to add uh, more people. We have uh, drawers, we have a trash can, we have a drying area here, very nice. So that's a third, a second area here for, uh, for the dishes. And uh, everything will be very easy to access uh, and to uh, uh, a feature of the, of the Leopard is the fact that every piece of equipment, every uh, tank, pump, everything is accessible, replaceable without, you know, basically without cutting or uh, working on any, uh, any panels. Everything can be easily accessed. Forward to port, we have a, um, a, a nav table that can be used uh, basically for also, you know, computers, laptops, etc. The, the seat here can be also used around the main salon table. We have USB, port, USB uh, plugs here. Some electronic can be added here as an option. We can have throttles uh, inside the boat as well with an autopilot so the boat can be driven from inside um, once, uh, once underway. As we go forward in the boat, this is obviously a feature of all the leopards. We have a full access forward uh, from the main salon. So on the larger, on the larger boats, we have a full-size cockpit. Because of the, uh, uh, this boat being a 43-footer, we do not have the room to have a full, uh, full cockpit. However, we still have full access forward. And uh, people can sit here, in fact. So you can still have, uh, sit around here, enjoy the breeze. Uh, obviously, uh, another advantage of having a, uh, a full door here is the visibility through that door. So the visibility forward is excellent. And the, the, big, uh, the big advantage is the ventilation. So the breeze will flow through the boat. It's going to be a natural breeze. And that's going to give uh, uh, superior ventilation, uh, much better ventilation than any boats you're going to be able to, to find just because of that door. Once uh, closed, obviously, it's a watertight door. Uh, this is also going to give ex very good uh, privacy here. Uh, we separate from, uh, from the back of the boat if we're in a marina. Uh, we're not going to have the noise from the dock, and we can stay here and uh, have a nice uh, private area. Uh, it's possible to have mattresses to uh, enjoy the sun uh, and lay down here. In this, uh, in this uh, locker here, we have uh, a water tank. Here is the, uh, the mooring system uh, and another water tank here. As far as the uh, anchoring system, uh, it's pretty, uh, pretty simple, uh, clean. Uh, the anchor will drop right from here. Uh, this is electrical windows. We have a remote control uh, that can be used here. We can also move forward uh, to, the, to, the, to the front of the bed at the bow here and be able to see uh, uh, you know, the anchor set as the boat will start uh, you know, going backwards as we set the anchor. Uh, there is a, a break on the chain here. So once the, the anchor is set, is set we can st uh, put the brake on and doesn't, it's not going to wear down the, uh, the windlass. Uh, and it's all clean, it's enclosed, there's no chain on the, on the, on the fore deck, there's no corrosion, there's no mud, so it's all self-contained here. And uh, it's far enough forward so the uh, chain is not going to rag on, the, on, the, on the, the hulls. So there's no chance for that chain to touch the hull even if the boat moves, uh, moves around. Uh, while the anchor is being uh, is being set, so this compartment is you know closes here, and once the anchor is set, this is uh, very clean. As we move forward on the power cats, we have obviously a forward uh, forward uh, hard uh, deck. There is no need here for trampoline. We don't have the same hobby horsing effect that we see on sailboats, so that can be closed in. Uh, and he actually sticks a little bit further out than what we can see on sailboats where, uh, so we can block all the spray. So there's no spray. Uh, even uh, when we start going into 14, 15, 
17, 18, 20 knots, even at high speed, there is no spray, the boat remains very dry. Uh, we're going to then go next into the, uh, in the flybridge. Uh, in the front of the flybridge, there is a, uh, a sunbathing area with, uh, with mattresses can, that can be accessed from the fly will sit once we're on the flybridge. So as we uh, walk back to, uh, towards the aft section of the boat, we're going to have very good, uh, it's very wide, very wide passageways here. We have a good, uh, it's very secure. We have handrail on one side. We can grab the rail on the, on the, on the, uh, the starboard side of the boat. So at all times, we're walking in a very secure way here. We have more uh, handrails here and we can step all the way down to the deck. We basically have a hard top covering uh, the entire aft cockpit. The hard top is very wide, uh, wider than, than most hard tops. And it covers not only the settee, but it goes even further out. Equally, going aft is very wide. It extends uh, past the stern of the boat. So we have excellent uh, protection against uh, basically, uh, you know, the sun, but also rain or side rain or sh tropical showers. So excellent protection of the, uh, of the cockpit. Equally in the front, we have, we didn't look at it earlier, but there is a, uh, an eyebrow, some, an extension of uh, the roof that gives protection uh, forward as well. Uh, we have also some, uh, some uh, uh, curtains here that we can uh, tie to, uh, to the rail on the side, so that will protect, uh, give additional shade and also block the rain. Uh, we're going to be uh, basically uh, next access accessing the, uh, the flybridge. So here we have some uh, 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 steps that access the flybridge going aft. And I'm going to explain when we're, once we're on the flybridge why we've done this. But again, it's very secure, good handrail here. We're going to have some uh, uh, two steps here to, uh, to get onto the, uh, onto the steps. And we have three steps all the way to the, uh, to the flybridge. So we're now on a very, very large uh, flybridge. Uh, so uh, the steps uh, do uh, go uh, towards the aft section of the boat. The reason for turning those steps uh, reversed, if you like, uh, is to uh, be able to uh, fit uh, the steering uh, station uh, forward and on the starboard side. So it's a very nice steering station. Uh, sits comfortably two people. Uh, the visibility from the steering going forward is, uh, is very good. We can see both bows very well. The controls are here, electronic uh, throttles. Uh, in a sitting position, we also uh, see the bows and it's an easy access to the, to the, uh, the throttle again. All the electronics uh, are here. Uh, again, you know, very simple, easy to maintain, access to the electronics from here. So again, we can, the maintenance is easy, good access to all the systems. Uh, enough uh, room for the feet, that's important. So it's quite, quite comfortable. Uh, and by being able to uh, fit the entire steering station here, the entire port side is free. So we've been able to uh, basically fit here uh, a large U-shaped settee. We can put eight people up here. Uh, with a very nice table. It's actually the same table we use on the 51 Paracat. And aft of the settee, we have a module here where we'll be, we'll be able to accommodate more entertaining, entertainment uh, features. So on this boat, we have, uh, we have an electrical grill. Uh, we have a sink. We have a cold and hot water here. Nice countertop, uh, coin. And uh, here we're going to have uh, nice uh, storage. Uh, there's also options to uh, have a second refrigeration system and, uh, and a nice maker if the, uh, if the owner want to. So it's a very, uh, very large uh, flybridge. People are surprised by the size of the side of the flybridge in a 43 foot boat. Foot boat. <clears throat> the entire uh, flybridge uh, is covered with a hard top that comes standard standard with the boat. Uh, again, uh, it covers the entire area. Uh, there are some uh, bars in the front that also are very uh, useful handrails. Uh, and you can see in the front of the uh, fly, uh, flybridge, there is access to the sunbathing area that we uh, had seen earlier from uh, the bow. 
So we are on the, uh, in the uh, forward uh, port cabin. Uh, in this, it's, a double, it's a double cabin. Uh, and uh, we have uh, a childbirth forward uh, in the peak. So that's a nice feature for, uh, for kids. That can be also uh, a, a nice uh, storage area. There's some shelves on the side, excellent ventilation through a hatch, good visibility on, uh, with a large window. When we sit in the bed, we are uh, eye level, we can see uh, the ocean outside and there's a, an opening port on the, on, in the window as well to give additional ventilation. There's a hanging locker, uh, uh, some drawers on the, under the bed. Um, and um, as we're gonna be moving aft of this forward cabin, we're gonna have in the middle of the bed, we have a, 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 a large uh, head and shower. Um, it's a separate shower sink and they are a toilet door is a is a sliding door so uh, it's easier to get in and out of the uh, of the compartment and moving uh, aft we have a, a second double cabin with um, a large window as well there's going to be a, a hatch a deck hatch uh, that opens in addition here we have an opening port facing aft that gives cross ventilation and again, an opening port in the window. There's a hanging locker, shelving, um, quite a, uh, some, some good storage. Uh, in all the cabins, there is also storage under the floorboards for bags, luggage, etc. So here we have, uh, we have access to the engines here. So we are now in the uh, owner's uh, cabin that takes the entire starboard hall. We have a large uh, double bed. Um, you know, aft. This is the actual same uh, bed that we have in the in a, the four cabin version, except here we're gonna have a, we're gonna have the entire uh, the entire hall. So there is a, a hanging locker. In addition, here we have drawers, uh, three drawers, a vanity, um, and an, uh, an additional ottoman. This ottoman actually can be used for the main salon as well. And uh, there's a second hanging locker going forward and a very large head and shower in the peak. Uh, forward of the uh, head and shower, there is the, uh, the front of the boat, basically the peak in the bow. And uh, in this area, we can also fit a uh, washer dryer as an option. There is the same storage in, uh, in the floors, so for bags and extra storage. And the entire compartment is, is really large, very well ventilated, nice uh, lighting, and makes a uh, pretty much a, uh, almost like an apartment type situation. Uh, in the event there are guests on the boat, or, or you know other people, and uh, the owner wants privacy, the um, the entire uh, cabin or entire hall in this case can close uh, with a sliding door. So from this station here, you'll be able to uh, control the, uh, the two uh, 260 horsepower Yanmars. Uh, the consumption is, uh, is good on this boat, uh, certainly uh, much better than the monohull. So at uh, 10 knots, we're going to be consuming about uh, 25 liter per hour. At 15 knots, we consume about 45 liter per hour. Uh, in order to get some additional range, uh, at 8 knots, at a lower speed, we get 1,000 mile uh, uh, range. And for people that want to go very far, like uh, the delivery crew that we use to deliver these boats, uh, you can actually run the boat one engine at a time. So the, uh, the efficiency of the hull and uh, the, uh, the fact that you know, we have thin hulls gives good, uh, good consumption and, uh, and then plenty of range. This uh, 43 power cad is available for charter in our Moorings uh, charter fleet. You can also uh, purchase this boat through the uh, yacht ownership program with the Moorings. So as an owner, you buy a boat that is operated by the Moorings and it's also available uh, for sale uh, for private uh, direct sales uh, under the, uh, the Leopard brand. Uh, so far, we've delivered uh, 11 units. Uh, we build about uh, a boat every 10 days. Uh, the production will slightly accelerate uh, you know, further this year. Uh, so we, we, we're building about 30 units a year. Uh, the, um, the 51 Paracad, the, uh, the, uh, the bigger version, is about 30 to 35 units a year. So in total, 
uh, we build about 60 to 65 power cats uh, per year, which is putting Leopard in a, in a leading position uh, in this segment, in the power cat uh, segment. Uh, the uh, price-wise, uh, this bird is very competitive. We're looking at right around uh, 500,000 euros, uh, depending on options that you put on a bird. But at, uh, at 500,000 euros, we're looking at a very complete bird with all the equipment, uh, generator, air conditioning, uh, all the electronics, refrigeration, all the uh, features that we've seen uh, delivered uh, uh, to the destination. So thank you very much for your attention and uh, we hope to see you at a boat show or uh, you know, uh, charting one of our boats. Thank you very much.